fingers, my desires. Four days will quickly seep themselves in the night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. Hippata, I root thee with my sword, and one thy love doing the injuries. But I shall wed thee in another key, with pomp, <coughs> with triumph, and with reveling. Happy be Theseus, our renowned duke. Thanks, good Aegis. What news with thee? Full of vexation come I with complaint against my daughter, my child, Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius. My noble lord, he hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander. This man hath interchanged love tokens with my child. Thou, thou, Lysander. With cunning hast thou turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness. My gracious duke, if she will not hear before your grace consent to marry with Demetrius, I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, I may dispose of her, which shall be to this gentleman or to her death, according to our law, immediately provided in that case. What say you, Hermia? Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander. In himself he is. But in this kind, wanting your father's voice, the other must be held the worthy of I would my father look it, but with my eyes. Rather with your eyes must his judgment look. I beseech your grace that I may know the force that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die the death, or to live a barren sister all your life. Therefore, fair Amy, question your desire, whether, if not so very Demetrius, you can enjoy the liberty of a nun. So will I grow, so live, so die, my lord, ere I will my virgin pageant yield up unto his lordship. Take time to pause, and by the next new moon, the ceiling day beats twixt my love and me, and upon that day, either prepare to die for disobedience to your father's will, or else to wed Demetrius. Or on Diana's altar, throw a test for single life. Let sweet Hermia and Lysander yield thy grace title to my certain right. You have her father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia. Do you marry him? Scornful Lysander! She is mine, and all my right to her. I do stay on to Demetrius. I am, my lord, as well as I am, as well possessed my love is more than his. My fortune. As the way as fair rank, if not with vantage, as Demetrius is. And which is more than all we supposed to be, I am beloved of beauty, Sermia. Why should not I then prosecute my right? Demetrius, <coughs> all about to his head, made no to the inner daughter Helena, and won her soul. And she, sweet lady, dotes, devoutly dotes, dotes, dotes in idolatry from this spot and angost in that. I must confess that I have earned so much, and would Demetrius thought to have spoke thereof. Demetrius, Aegeus, you shall go with me. I have some private schooling for you both. For you, fair Hermia, <coughs> look you on yourself to fit your fancies to your father's will, or else the law of Athens yields you up, either to death or to a vow of single life. Come, my lovely. What's your, my love? <laughs> so pale. How chance the roses there do fade so fast. He likes to want to rain, which I do love the teeth of the tempest of my eyes. I me, for aught that I could ever read, could ever hear my tale of history, and grow into love memory in my smooth. Well, did you love my mother's eyes? Hear me, hear me. I have a widow not, and she hath no child. From Athens is her house from Love's seven leaves. There, gentle Hermia, may I marry thee. To that place the sharp Athenian law cannot pursue us. If thou lovest me, still forth thy father's house tomorrow night, and there in the woods I will wait for thee. My good Lysander, I swear to thee by Cupid's strongest bow tomorrow truly will I meet with thee. He promised, love. Look, here comes Helena. God speed for Helena, whither away? Call you me fair? That's fair again, I'm say. Demetrius loves your fair. Oh, happy fair, sickness is catching. Oh, we're fingers so yours the cat there. There I go. Teach me how you look, and with what art you sweep the motion of Demetrius' heart. I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. Oh, that your frowns could teach my soil such skill. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. Oh, that my 
value to them concealed through what happens against me and the price is sealed. And in the wood there my Lysander myself shall meet, and then from Athens turn away our eyes. Very well, sweet Plato, pray thou for us, and we will not be that we must start our sight from what comes to the power of midnight. I will not remain. Ha, 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 ha,